Well, hi everyone, welcome to our channel. If you are new here, welcome and it's great to see you. And if you're a regular, welcome back. Today we have a fantastic tour. We are on a Italian made 2024 Explore 62 made by Luxury Ocean Yachts, L-O-Y. And this is a beautiful boat. You are absolutely gonna love this. We're here in Fort Lauderdale. So come along and let's show you around. Welcome to Boating Journey. I'm Scott and she's Allie. We own two boats in the Pacific Northwest, but have recently found ourselves boatless after moving to Southern Florida. We moved to be closer to different boating opportunities and the Caribbean, our favorite boating destination. Our goals are to explore the Florida waters, bring you some new boat tours, and hopefully find our next boat. So come along and follow us on our boating journey. So we're gonna start here on the swim platform. This is a very wide swim platform. You get plenty of room. This garage tender is big enough for a 10 foot tender. You could have a Williams jet in here. Uh, right here is also access to your crew quarters. It has crew quarters for one with a head and uh, lots of entertainment space as you are gonna find out. So let's go up into the cockpit and we'll show you around. Wow, look at the entertainment space in this cockpit. And you know I love to entertain and this would be exactly for me. You've got plenty of seating for everyone. There is engine access right here under this rug. And check out this super cool feature. Right here is a rain shower that you can rinse off. And this is where your drain and also where your fuel and water. So you've, you've got your pump out, your, two, uh, your diesel, your water intake, and that's the drain for the shower. You control your shower right here. And I'm not gonna press it because I don't feel like getting wet. And let's step into the dining area. What really makes this yacht unique, it is the only yacht <clears throat> of its size that is completely an open concept. And what does that mean? Well, you'll notice this is open. This, all this Isinglass opens. All of this is open. And I'm gonna show you more over here. That completely opens as well. You've got dining for six. And look at the size of this pedestal. This is about 150 pounds and it is not going anywhere. It is sturdy. This boat is meant to be in rough seas and I'm gonna show you a couple cool features that make it that. This is a bottle chiller. Everybody knows I like my wine. That is a must. You've got a refrigerator here. Oh, and you got your cold beer. You've got storage here you have all of your controls here this is a, a twin volvo penta 800 uh, ips so you can control everything here and your bow uh, thruster is there on this side do you need to do a few dishes if i can remember how to do it was it a touch no tell me i don't remember uh, oh it's right here yeah. check this out I still think it could just be a nice water feature as well. <laughs> and then you've got, uh, this is going to be a refrigerator if you want, or storage. You could also put an ice maker under there. We are going to actually add an ice maker to this one. Uh, it has not arrived. Again, this is an Italian-made yacht. And what I started to talk about was the open concept. So this door came from over there, and you can push it all the way back so that you're entire entertainment area is out in the open. That is awesome. And the other cool thing is that these couches are free form. So what they typically might do is take the couch, and there's another couch that extends with this, take the couch, slide it down, and move it back. That gives you tons of entertainment space here in the galley. I think we're gonna actually call this the salon, not the galley. Because oh, yeah. the galley is the galley forward. Is forward yeah. uh, you do have a pop-up television here. You have more storage here. And underneath here are more glasses. What makes these glasses unique? Well, not only are they beautiful, why do they have this thing on the side of them? Well, it's a magnet. 
And you're going to find these magnetic glasses throughout the yacht, including the wine glasses. That's such a cool feature. That is not. Especially for stemware. <laughs> that's not going anywhere. What else might be magnet, though? Well, when you're underway, how many of you have ever been, I have, if you check out the, uh, I don't think I have a video of it, but on my Bimini Crossing, we had just started underway when, what did we lose? A cushion. We had to turn around and go back. That is not going to happen with these. These are not only weighted, but they're magnetic. So everything on this boat, they have really thought out, which is fantastic. Now we're going to step into the helm slash galley. Uh, you have plenty of space to entertain, uh, prepare your food. This is all Miele uh, uh, appliances. So you have an induction stovetop. You have an oven here. We have a refrigerator here. Very nice size. You have like every boater needs. I mean, I think this is key. And I think the winds would agree. A Bosch dishwasher. <laughs> At least one of them would. Yeah. That's cool. Then you also have now your helm. So here you lift this up. You have a sea keeper and a hump. So sea keeper stabilizer. That is what keeps your boat from rocking. And uh, it's also got Humphrey fins. So that's really, really not going to rock. No, this is going to be a rock solid boat. Yeah. Uh, there are controls up above as well, but from down here, you have the option of having a chair. Uh, most people choose not to have a chair here to give you a little more space. You have your controls here. Uh, this is your joystick. Um, this is your bow thruster and trim, tab. trim tabs. Everything is controlled by this panel. So you can see here, we've got our fresh water, how much we have, our black water, our fuel tank, and then this was our gray water. I'm not sure that's hiding, hiding there. If we go back to home. You can turn on your lights. You do just so you go the fly deck, the main deck, the lower deck, aft, forward, and you just press the button and it turns all the lights on. So how cool is that? Everything is done. Turn our air AC here. This is your tanks. You do everything by this panel. This is an elephant, so you'll notice a lot of elephants throughout, and these are uh, aquamarine stones, okay. and this helps you know where is up and up and down to keep your steering wheel. You know how we used to always have to go near, 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 near to get it back to neutral? Well, the elephant helps you remember that. Mm -hmm. Catchy. Uh, look at the size of this pilot door. You do have the option of not having a pilot door, uh, but most people do have a pilot door, and this thing is hardy, very robust. We're not done with the storage yet, though. So let's start here. You've got storage on one side, and on the other side, if you didn't, that refrigerator wasn't enough, and that refrigerator wasn't enough, well, you've got another refrigerator and another freezer. This yacht has six refrigerators total on it. So I think we're covered there. Uh, here is our wine glass. Our, here is, hang on, this way. And once again, what's holding them up? Magnets. Yeah, that's nice. So they're not going to shake. Like uh, when you slide them into a normal one, they're still going to move around. Rattle. They're not going to rattle in there. So, And below the coffee maker? Is another wine chiller. So from here, let's go check out the flybridge, but let's show you the bow first and how wide the walk-arounds are. Check out how wide this walk-around is. So you have a nice little bow area. Uh, the captain can see very easily. He's very, very close to the bow. Um, and you can easily sit here, relax, and just cruise on in. Yeah, I like it because it's kind of... It's very and it, intimate. And it, it's kind of stubby, and I don't mean that in a bad way, <laughs> so that there's a lot more internal space instead of stuff out here, but you yeah. can still enjoy the space out here. Awesome space. Yeah. You'll also notice all of this LED lighting that's underneath that helps really illuminate the yacht, especially at night. Well, I'm sure it's beautiful at night. Uh, the rails, I love how high they are. Watch your step. There's a little bit of a drip. 
one thing that this yacht is also going to have is with the touch of your phone, you can tint the windows, change the colors, so that's going to be another really cool feature. Let's go on up and check out the flybridge. <laughs> so look at the entertainment space up here. Let's start with that. You've got plenty of seating here. This table flips, so you can do tons of dining. Again, back to that heavy cushion. I mean, when I mean heavy. It is heavy, yeah. <laughs> it's not gonna blow away. You've got a sink, grill, refrigerator again. So plenty Two of refrigerators. Space. Two refrigerators. And this is really heavy, so I'm not going to move it, but this covers that. And then you can use this space for laying out your food. Yeah, it's a great use of space where this will actually pull back down to cover this up. But otherwise you can open it up and yeah. it just adds one more social area. So the other cool thing they've designed is they have these low, these have pads with them. These are uh, lower um, lounge chairs, but if they were a little higher, your face would actually hit this bar. So by being lower, you can look right through and you can see everything. They've thought of everything. Thank you for everything. Underneath all of this whole area is storage. So you've got lots of storage. You can put your fenders, your covers there. Another really neat feature on this boat is that this roof slides open. So if you wanted to have a fully open, get your tan on, this is where you can get right. that done. This is a nice maker. So you've got that up here. Easy helm station. I mean, I can see so perfectly. And remember, I'm five foot three. So this visibility is fantastic. This folds flat. This folds down. And these are all your controls up here. You've got your fusion, again, your engine controls, your um, engine controls, your bow thruster, trim tabs, and your joystick for your IPS. Perfect. Now, I'm excited to go see the staterooms. Are you? Sure thing. OK, let's go down. The other thing I did want to mention is on both sides of the yacht, you have uh, sideboarding as well, which is how I actually got on the boat because I'm short and I wasn't comfortable trying to make the, the hop onto the sugar scoop. So this is a great feature. To yeah, have it as comes well. in handy when you have fixed docks instead of yeah. uh, floating docks. Okay, let's go down and check out the staterooms. I like the hand, they've got good handles. Uh, here's your controls, so your main deck panel is not hidden behind something. I like that. Here's your wine cooler. This is another melee. Uh, you just touch it and it'll open. Just like that. And if you accidentally touch it when you're coming down, it'll automatically close. I like that. You gotta like that. Uh, right here in the, what are we calling this? Hallway, I guess. Foyer. Foyer, this is more storage here. And then you could put up your lovely decorations if you wish. In here is the master stateroom. So, lots of counter space, tons of storage. All of this is storage with the exception of this section. This happens to be where the Humphrey fin is located. But otherwise, everything else is storage. Under the bed, under here, uh, behind Scott, we've also got a spot to put a TV. Perfect nightstands. Uh, are these sinks deep enough for you? You could wash your dog in here I if you need. I was going to say, if you have a small dog, you but can wash it in there. But how do you there. turn on the water, I wonder? Oh. Okay, that's like, that's super cool. Mm -hmm. And then you have electric toilet. You have a really big shower. What I like about, again, the shower enclosure is it's actually tinted. So you, so can't, you can't see inside of it. So it does give you privacy. So if somebody is getting ready in the sinks, they don't have to and look at the person shopping. And the other shopping. thing it has. Oh, an exhaust fan. It has an exhaust fan. Why don't boats have exhaust fans? I know. Uh, on this side, again, you can put a television right here. This one does not have one yet. We're waiting to see if the, this is not a, um, this boat is brand new. It is for sale. And uh, so they've left a few things for the new owner to be able to customize. Blinds, they want to put a TV in. <clears throat> Here is your closet. You have a full-size mirror. I'm going to show, have Scott show you. So it's kind of a dressing room, if you will. Yeah, there's a ton of storage in here. 
So that's that. Then you have three hanging lockers. Just huge amounts of storage, including the storage underneath. Right. Here again, notice that all of the fantastic LED lighting that really, I love everything they've done. The, the decorations that have been appointed here are fantastic between the marble. You've got these like sleet almost, um, it, it reminds me of a, I can't think of the word, but it's like a sleet, you know, almost like, but it's not, but. Slate? Slate. Sleet, sleet is rain sleet and is snow. Rain. Okay, go ahead, make fun of me, leave your comments down below. And if you still need more storage, well, is that big enough for you? Wow. <laughs> and I don't think this no, is. No, that's, that's, that's just a wall. Just, well. yeah. In here, we have a, a, a twin bunks, similar to kind of a few that we've already given. These do not push together. So this would be great for either two single people or kids. Uh, a TV go, can go in. I think On the other side of the closet. Oh, right, right here. Oh, here, here's your closet. Um, and again, look at the doors. Look at just how everything's been so nicely decorated. The handles are unique. The inlay is unique. The color, everything is just really, they went out of their way to really make a point to. Oh, and again, Magnix. I don't know if you, you'll have to see that. This is what they're calling the Harry Potter room. Uh, you could put your dogs in here. You, I mean, it's not that out, that claustrophobic. Well, this is set up as a four cabin. It does have an option to be three cabin yeah. only. And people would put a washer and dryer in Washer, here. dryer, dog room, like you said. Watch your step when you step up. Okay, so here in the VIP berth, uh, they have their own head. And uh, what's interesting is when you go into the shower, this happens to also be where the toilet is. Mm -hmm. and then you just push that back, use the restroom, push this back down, and shower. A good use of space. That's a great use of space. Um, oh. And still plenty of room. It's the same thing for the day head over here. Uh, here in the <clears throat> VIP berth, you've got lots of storage. You've got a spot for a television right behind me. Um, storage all through here and the other thing I really like about it is you know me and I like a walk around bed uh, I you don't like the kind where you have to t totally climb up and then crawl I could easily get into this bed mm -hmm. easily so a uh, really well designed here and again the appointments I think have been are lovely um, with the marble the leather headrest the lighting they've really kind of thought of everything here yeah, it's very bright in here. Yeah. Makes you feel like you're not in the, you know. A dungeon? Down in the dungeon, yeah. <laughs> I really like that. Yeah. So let's go back outside and we'll wrap things up. The other cool thing you'll notice here in throughout the boat, but also mainly in the cockpit. What do you notice, Scott? Wow. These are my cougar colors. So if you're a coug, this is the boat for you. And lastly, I'd like to thank Jeff Eldon with the Helm Yacht Group. He has this boat for sale. So if you're interested, we've got the link down below, including all of his contact information. So check it out. Thanks, Jeff, for giving us a great tour. Thank you. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave your comments down below, and more importantly, subscribe. We'll see you on the next tour. Thanks, everyone.